Greetings Earthlings and welcome back to WatchCastage. Today we are looking at a field watch that is assembled in the USA and uses a made in the USA movement. This is the Veyer C3 and if you are interested in this watch it will cost around $210. I will throw some links in the description if you want to check it out and let's talk about the build quality. First up as far as the weight with the provided silicon strap it comes in at 53 grams. The case diameter comes in at 36 millimeters. The thickness of the watch comes in at 9.5 millimeters. The lug to lug comes in at 43 millimeters. And the lug width on this watch is 20 millimeters, so that means it'll take 20 millimeter straps. Then as far as the water resistance, this offers 100 meters, and that is thanks to a screw down crown, as well as a screw on case back. The slightly domed crystal is going to be a sapphire crystal. The entire case material is going to be 316L stainless steel. And the main strap that comes on this watch is this black silicon strap. You do have two floating keepers and the second keeper locks onto the strap so it doesn't come undone. The buckle on the strap is going to be brushed stainless steel and signed with the Vayer logo. And if it matters to you as far as the manufacturing, this uses a made in the USA movement and everything else is assembled in the USA. Not made in the USA, but assembled in the USA. Next up, as far as the finishing, we do have a fairly basic finish. The majority of the case is going to be brushed, but then when we look along the edge of the bezel, you can see that you have a high polished chamfer edge. And then as we look at the downturn of the lugs, you can see that same high polished chamfer edge as well. As I already mentioned, it does have a screw down crown, and if we look a little bit closer, it is signed with the Veyer logo. Then when we take a quick look at the case back, it has all of your standard information. It obviously is going to have their logo. It has the brand of the movement. It has the assembly location, the material used for the crystal, the material used for the casing, and the water resistance. Then when we look at the dial, along the exterior, you have a standard minute track with ticks at every hour other than 2, 4, 8, and 10, where you have little loom pips. Then you have Arabic numerals at 3, 6, and 9 for the hours, and this obviously exudes Explorer 1 vibes. You have triangles at every other hour, and then a much larger triangle at 12 for additional orientation. Next, directly below the 12, you're going to find the Veyer logo. Above the 6, you're going to find 10 atmospheres to indicate 100 meters of water resistance, then American assembly, and lastly, USA movement. And lastly, when we look at the handset, you have this syringe style. The hour and minute hand are steel, and they have this faux patina loom, which matches the printing on the dial. But then you have this second hand, which is painted white, which really draws attention to it. And then at the tip of that, it has a little bit of that same faux patina loom. Then as far as the movement, this uses the FTS AmeriCourt 6130 HT Quartz Movement, which is made in Fountain Hills, Arizona. As you can tell, it is a three-hand quartz movement. It does offer hacking, meaning when you pull the crown out, the seconds hand will stop and it allows you to get a much more accurate time set. As far as the accuracy of this movement, it is listed at plus or minus 20 seconds a month, but my specific watch, I was getting plus three to plus four seconds a month, so a lot better than that. And the battery life for this is listed at three and a half years. And then as far as the registration of the seconds hand, I actually think that it's quite good on this watch. There are some moments where it falls a little bit out of sync. That is typically between 45 seconds and 60 seconds. But overall, the second hand is very accurate and hits most of the markers, so I'm pretty impressed with that. And here is a very quick loom shot for you. You can see that this thing is loomed extremely well. They have even loomed the Veyer logo. Incredibly impressive. Every single hour marker, 3, 6, 9, you even have loom on the second hand. Just all around incredibly legible in the dark, so great job there. And here is a quick shot of the watch on my 18-ish centimeter wrist. I have to say I absolutely love how this thing fits. It's very reminiscent of the Explorer 1 to me with that 36 mil diameter and 20 millimeter lugs and a nice 43-ish millimeter lug tip to lug tip. 
just all around a really great sized watch. As we rotate around, you have the signed buckle right there and back around, just all around a really great watch, especially if you have a thinner wrist like me. Now let's jump to the more subjective part of this video and we'll start with the pros. And first up for me is the outstanding dimensions. I am just a huge sucker for 36 millimeter watches with 20 millimeter straps. It just reminds me of that Rolex Explorer 1, which is one of my all time favorites. Secondly, if you know anything about me, you also know I'm a sucker for items that are made in the USA or at the very least assembled in the USA. This is assembled in the USA and it has a made in the USA movement and it just thrills me that there is a watch company trying to bring that back to the States. I know there are a few. I know there's a Weiss watch company and a few others that are more high end, but this is just great to see something that's affordable that is offering that. And then as far as cons, this is purely subjective here, but I don't like the color choice for the dial or the hands. Everything is faux patina, and then you just have this incredibly bright white second hand, and that draws your attention to the second hand, which is the least important part of the dial, in my opinion. If it were up to me, I would have inverted all of the colors where pretty much all the printing would be white, and then you have the second hand, which is a darker color to draw attention away from it, or just copy the color scheme from their Dirty Dozen watch, which I absolutely love. It still has that vintage vibe to it, but it isn't so drastically different. It doesn't draw so much attention to the second hand where you have everything that is this darker brown color, and then you have this bright white second hand. That's just something that I wasn't a big fan of. So to conclude this video, prior to finding this watch, I had never heard of Veyer. I had just watched a bunch of World War II movies and I was looking for a World War II style watch and I found their Dirty Dozen, which is a nice 36 millimeter watch. And while looking at this watch, I stumbled across a 36 millimeter assembled in the USA quartz watch, which is pretty affordable. I'm just kind of blown away by this watch and I'm surprised that I had never heard of Veyer before because this watch ticks so many of my boxes. The only thing that keeps me from absolutely loving it is the color scheme on the dial. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. Now, I don't necessarily want to call this a beater watch, but this is something that I would be incredibly proud to wear when I don't want to wear a thousand dollar watch or a multiple thousand dollar watch something that I wouldn't be concerned with getting a bit rough with when I'm going out swimming or I, like I go out swimming. I don't leave my home. <laughs> Why am I pretending like I go out on adventures? I don't leave my home. You get the point though. 200 bucks, you're getting this very durable, very robust watch with a sapphire crystal 316L stainless steel and you're supporting the local economy if you are in the USA. And ultimately, with this watch being my first impression of Veyer, I am really impressed with what they're doing and I am digging, I'm picking up what they're dropping down or whatever the saying is. And with watches like the C3 and the Dirty Dozen, holy smokes, I am really enjoying this watch company. And the C3, 200 bucks, assembled in the USA, really accurate quartz field watch. I think this thing is awesome and this is going to be on my wrist for years to come, especially when I don't want to wear a nicer watch if I'm concerned about getting robbed or something or just getting a bit rough with it if I ever leave my home again. There you go. That's the Veyer C3 Field Watch. I love pretty much everything about it except the dial color. Let me know what you think of this watch in the comments down below. And also let me know what you thought of the audio new microphone that uses the M7 capsule. Yeah, powie. Nobody cares on this watch channel, but I'm, <laughs> I, I have a channel about microphones. I like microphones. It's the, it uses the M7 capsule. It's really neat stuff. <laughs> and now I lost every subscriber here. Okay. I will talk to you all in two weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.